ladies and gentlemen, can you please be seated? We'll be having one final session in technology. Don't worry. I think we'll, uh, we'll get going, yeah? Yeah, okay, well, hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Paul McLaughlin. I'm the president of FPG. Um, today, just a quick session. Uh, great to be here. Um, you know, my sort of second trip to India. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, we've talked about tech and how important tech is in terms of, you know, driving revenues. I want to talk about the relationship between tech and the front line. So, who, a little bit about FPG. We're the sort of the world leaders in uh, frontline performance technology. Uh, we're incremental revenue and service experts. Uh, we have about 600,000 rooms on our platform globally, and uh, we work with all the major owners um, and operators uh, across all the continents. What do we do? We enable hotels, either portfolios or single operations, to you know, uh, increase uh, incremental revenues at the point of sale be it the front desk, uh, be it in restaurants. And how do we do that? We deliver effectively um, a one-stop solution. Uh, whilst this technology, it's also the hard to. The difference is we've talked a lot today about you know, the tech, about what it does. But it, the big difference between us, perhaps, and others is, is, is delivering the tools to actually make a difference. Uh, what do we impact? Red power improvement. You know, a lot of our clients are seeing between, between 2 and 8% rev par improvement. But it's also about improved service scores, staff engagement scores, um, service recovery costs decreasing. And we all know how difficult it is for talent today, uh, about how to attract top talent. Some of the partners we work with, uh, and if you're in, anybody's in the room that belongs to one of these, uh, thank you for your business. Uh, essentially, we're a, we're a SaaS platform, you know. Great ratings, you know, uh, high approval rates, uh, but the tech on its own is for for us is not enough, because you know we believe in the potential of the front line. We really believe that everybody uh, on the front line has the, the has so much on tap potential. Um, so the tech on its own that drives incremental revenue is only part of the solution. Uh, it's really an art and a science. And I think you've heard some of that. So what I wanted to do was give you a few minutes, was just talk through some of the things. I get the chance to travel globally, spend a lot of time with many brands, uh, many operators, many asset groups. And here's some of the stuff that we hear and we see, and I really believe this is the opportunity for all of us in this room. You know, every revenue manager will tell you that an, an empty room, an empty suite, is an opportunity missed. Uh, but the problem is, whilst they know that, they don't have the playbook to, make, to do something about it. So what do they focus on? They focus on the tech solutions, the, the pre-arrival solutions. Um, but at the end of the day, they get minimal results from that. Many, many people, we've heard it today in many of the speeches, they don't treat the front line as brand ambassadors. They're very much order takers. And so therefore, they're not really trained to spot opportunities to increase revenue at the point of sale within the hotel. Um, because you know, an operations mindset will tell you that, oh, well, you can't, you can't enhance revenue whilst you're trying to improve service. They don't go hand in hand. Well, I'm sorry, they do. Um, the right environment for, for frontline to be successful, I'm sorry to say, in most situations, is not created. So therefore, you've got the right fit people, the right environment's not created, and it leads to high turnover. And automation and tech solutions are seen to be the solution. We heard it earlier on. But the reality is the customer wants human interaction. So and customer, increase, customer expectations are increasing. You know, we heard it today, ADRs up, up, up. Well, guess what? That comes with higher expectations. So, in my experience, the, the hotels and the portfolios that are focusing on those, those opportunities are seeing rev pars at the point of sale 
increasing by up to 8%. 8% RevPAR increases at the front desk. Service recovery costs within the property reducing by 25%. Why? Because they're using the front line at the front line to increase the, the customer experience. So, and here's some of the, some of the proof of that. This is you know, PwC, the future of customer experience. 15,000 customers across different uh, verticals were asked for their opinions. What was important to them? Was the customer experience important to them? And if it was, what things would they pay a premium for if they got the right level of customer experience? Most of the things in the circle are things that the front line in your property or your portfolio today can influence. On the other flip side, what drives customers away? The same survey. Most of the things that are the, the worst things that drive customers away are the effect of your front line. And then if you take it to hotel experience, customers are, are willing to pay, and we see this all over the world, customers are willing to pay more for better experiences. But here's the problem. So the customers higher expectations, willing to pay more, the workforce, uh, you know, they say they want more human interaction. But here's the dilemma. <laughs> Gallup every year does these surveys, and it tells us that two-thirds of our front lines are apathetic. So you've got a gap. So the customer wants more, wants more human interaction, wants a better experience, but the people serving that experience are becoming more apathetic. Look at the graph in the corner. It's not changing, guys. Over the last 20 years, it's stagnant. But worst of all, there's 18% of people, of our teams today, that serve the customer that has a higher expectation that are actively disengaged. So what are the best performing properties in the world doing about that? Our biggest client globally, Hilton. We've worked with Hilton for 10 years. Um, you know, we're not the reason that they are, as of this week, the number two company to work for in the US. It's not just the US. Look at all these other countries where they're in the top five, top 10. So what are they doing? What is Hilton doing? And what is others that we work with doing to close the gap between what the customer expects and what the staff member feels like they want to deliver. So they're closing the gap between the customer expectation and how employees feel. And that's a really key word, how the employee feels. Because at the end of the day, you know, it's about, it's about ensuring that the right environment is created for the front line to be successful. They're empowering employees to make the cast experience better. If anyone's ever stayed at a Ritz-Carlton, you'll notice that they, uh, they have up to a certain level that every, every staff associate is allowed to give back to the customer as recovery in order to, to keep that guest happy. It's all about development, development, development. It's putting the right incentive pro programs in place, the right front desk incentive programs, the right, the right restaurant incentive programs, uh, the right sort of reservation sale incentive programs. But it's also about holding people to account. I see it so many times across the globe where front desk agents are brought in, incentive programs are put in play, targets are set for incremental revenue at the front line, service recovery at the front line, but they're not held to account. And the last one for me is so key. It's about offering your best services to all of your guests all of the time. That's service. It's not about picking and choosing about who to offer an upgrade to, 
or who to sort of you know who to, who to give that sort of that that that, that sweet to. So what we see is the best practices for the best front lines is they're treating the front line as a, a massive opportunity to increase profitability, increase revenues, and obviously reduce costs. So what do they do? They focus on e-learning tools, obviously using AI for personalized experiences. On our platform, it contains extensive e-learning capabilities in many different languages. They're championing the program. They're making a brand standard. They're setting minimum expectations and goals at an individual level, property level, and portfolio level. They're realizing that the front line you know, can make a huge difference. And don't underestimate recognition. It's a key attribute of getting people to stay with the organization. So, in summary, the front line can not only improve red power and client satisfaction, but they can reduce service recovery costs. What we're seeing across the globe is there are brands, hotels, independent, major brands, major ownership groups, major REITs that are looking at their front line and saying, yes, technology is great, it's an enabler, we've got to bring it into our organization, we've got to automate things, but the people is what makes the difference, and we've got to somehow treat them as a profit machine. They can make the difference, because the employee is the cornerstone. The, corner, the employee, the guy or the girl that we pay you know, $10 an hour to, uh, is going to make or break the experience of that customer. That, that customer will decide whether they're coming back to your property or not, simply by, you know, but, but the problem is if they're not developed, they're not trained, they're not incentivized, goals are not set, they're not held accountable, it's not gonna happen. So, in summary, it's about turning your front line into brand ambassadors. It's move, moving, seeing front line as an order taker, seeing them as potentially, you know, I wouldn't say a liability, but certainly someone that doesn't have the capability to make a difference. The best brands see their front line difference, and not just in, you know, guest satisfaction, but also in, in generating rev par increases that are substantial. So, I know that's very short. Um, thanks for listening. We're here um, in the hall. I'd love to talk to you. If there's anything else we can help you with? Um, the first slide. I'm going this way. This one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> So, any questions? I know that was quick, but I think we only had 10, 15 minutes. We provide, we provide the, not only the technology, but the know-how. So, it's, it's a system in a box. It's the, it's the technology platform that sits on top of your PMS, that keeps the score, tells you how you're performing, and more importantly, it then works with you to tell you what you need to do. You know, based all over the world. I'm personally based in Dubai. Uh, we have an operation here in India. All of our technology is developed in India. My colleague, Hemant, is, is my partner in, here in India. Um, our biggest clients globally, our biggest client in India is Hyatt. Um, but Marriott, Hilton, Taj, whatever. So. This product is, is, again, I mean, the average, just to give an example, it's, it's a subscription-based platform um, with all the tools, and the average return on investment we see is 22 to 1 on the investment. So, again, it comes with ROI guarantees, so it's not just here, good luck, hope, hope it works for you, give me your, give me your dollars. Uh, no, we, you know, uh, we, we have ROI guarantees. We've been 
a consulting firm for 25 years. We have a consul consulting division, uh, but now we enabled enable the, the, the portfolio, the asset management company, to implement it themselves. And I think the gentleman brought up the question earlier on about incremental revenues. We also work outside of hotels, we work in theme parks, we work in automotive, you know, uh, we work in airlines. Yeah, this is, you know, so we're not just, you know, hotel specific. You know, we look at a lot of verticals. And, you know, whether we like it or not, incremental revenue is a key component uh, strategy of increase, increase in revenues. But again, it's sales and service. That's the difference. Offer your best services to all of your guests, you know, and again, you'll get a better experience in order to generate more revenue. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.